Our hearts are with the students and the families of Michigan State University. And I'm going to say something that's always controversial, but there is no rationale for assault weapons and magazines that hold 50, 70 bullets. Okay, Joe Biden using the shooting at Michigan State University to renew his call for a ban on assault weapons, which is a made-up term. It's make-believe. What Biden does not mention is that the shooter used a handgun and was only out terrorizing the community because he was let out on probation because of a Democrat left-wing DA, a woke DA, despite this guy being arrested for an illegal gun charge and having a history of mental health issues and gun charges. For more on this, let's bring in the CEO and founder of the Langley Outdoors Academy, uh, uh, Braden Langley. Also have the president of the Crime Prevention Research Center and author of Gun Control Myths, How Politicians, the Media, and Botch Studies Have Twisted the Facts on Gun Control, Dr. John Lott. Dr. Lott, we'll begin with you. First question, Michigan State shooter had a history of gun crimes, but was allowed to skate because of a soft on crime Democrat DA isn't that the Democrats' fault and not the guns' fault? Right. I mean, the bizarre thing is many of the Democrats were calling for background checks, uh, uh, expanded background checks, universal background checks after this. But if they're not going to convict these individuals of f felonies, you know, no amount of background checks that you do is going to stop them from being able to go and obtain guns. You know, so, I mean, here we have a situation where it was an easy charge to convict this individual on. He could have faced five years in prison. He would still be in prison today, very likely, if she had prosecuted him. Uh, but she refused to do that. And, you know, I want to try mm -hmm. to do something mm -hmm. about these public shootings, but I want to try to do something that matters. Instead, they have a laundry list of laws that they push after each of these mass public shootings, and they have nothing to do with stopping the individual right. attacks. Of Instead, I don't well, know if you saw you know after each of these shootings, including this one, Michael Bloomberg's groups get out and start tweeting, holding me responsible for these types of attacks. Ugh. As I, I've Disgusting. pushed for getting rid of these gun-free zones. And all I have to say is, nobody has to take my word for it. Just read the diaries and manifestos from these killers. Time after time after time, they explain why they picked the targets that they did. They want to go to a place where exactly. victims themselves. Exactly, exactly. Let me, let me get to Braden on this one, because Braden, I think uh, Dr. Lott brings up a very good point, is that virtually every one of these mass shootings ha can be traced back to failures of government. So Kentucky mm -hmm. is inching closer to becoming a sanctuary state for the Second Amendment, recognizing that the people are best equipped to defend themselves. My home state of Texas also has a law like this on the books. Democrats, in the meantime, in California, Illinois, and across the country continue their efforts to disarm Americans while they're allowing criminals to go free who violate these gun laws. Hasn't the high court already ruled who's right on this issue? And it ain't the gun grabbers, is it? Oh, yeah. No, not at all. In fact, the more that you look at what's going on in the United States right now, a lot of the uproar coming from the left is really focusing on the Bruin decision. Now, that decision came down in June of last year. And since then, it has just been going crazy in the in the uh, court systems because it's dismantling unconstitutional laws. Now, what we're seeing across the board is, yeah, Kentucky, that bill, Texas, that's another example. The people are standing up because we have the right to defend ourselves. We have the Second Amendment. These infringements that are being passed as common sense gun reform are anything but. These are infringements which only affect those that would abide by these laws. And you're seeing in the perfect example mm -hmm. right now with Michigan, this is a terrible incident, but it could have been prevented numerous times. As Dr. Lott said, this individual would have been in jail had a DA actually applied the gun control that was in place at the time. And that's and that's the big thing here is this is existing laws not being enforced, so we need some more. And that just doesn't make sense on any level. No, and it shows you who there, if I can just carry out an analogy here, it shows you the left's real target. The real target is to stop Americans from being able to resist them and defend their own families. And that's the real target. And that's why you keep getting all these goalposts moved. And look at what's happening in Illinois. They have completely breached the law up there. And uh, they're having a hard time keeping that thing in place. Dr. John Lott and Braden Langley, gentlemen, thank you very much for the visit. It's always appreciated. <laughs>